Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Civilization 5 with me, your host Cole. And things are pretty well in our empire right now. Sorry, let me click out of that. We are happy. Our cities are growing at a very rapid pace, and we have a military. And that military might be moving against Cardiff, Cardiff, Cardiff and Dublin pretty soon, but we're not really sure. We definitely need to just take into account all the other factors that going to war would really bring about and just like the trade that would hurt us and all that stuff so i'm not really sure if that's a very smart idea but it's definitely something that's on the horizon but overall the feeling i'm getting from this game is just we are doing pretty well we are doing pretty well for ourselves we're happy we've got a pretty strong economy and our cities are growing nicely and i'm at a loss of what to do next because i don't really know what the next step is of course dito you are a very nice person i'll give that to you dito has been our friend for since the start but you know i'll definitely give them a little slack give them a little bit of gold but i'm just really i don't really know what to do next and i guess we're just gonna kind of sit here quietly maybe go to a minor war and take over these two cities or at least try to but i'm just i don't really know what to do right now because it's just we're chilling out right now no one really cares we're all chill we're just growing we're having fun and we kind of at our kind of are at a standstill and there's no big moves that are going to be made at least in my opinion there's no big moves that anybody's going to really make unless it's one of these guys because let me just do that because these guys down here a sir or however whatever their civilization is and the celts celts however you want to say it you know i'm bad at pronunciation are just we're all kind of just sitting down here we're kind of chilling out we're not really doing anything we're just chilling and I think that's going to be pretty good for us because we could just consolidate our power and outgrow our enemies and outpopulate them by just growing as fast as we possibly can and staying happy. And that's probably going to lead us to victory because we're just being left alone right now and we can just science our way to victory. So basically, we're going to take on a huge science focus. We're going to keep on growing these cities till they're humongous. And, but we're also going to be focusing very heavily on economy and science because economy gives us gold, which just opens up a ton of stuff. Gold is one of the most important resources in the game, and it can't win you the game, but it can definitely pave the way for it. And science is how we're going to win, I believe. <laughs> That's what we're going to be trying for. We might have to invade a couple places and take over a few more cities for that to actually happen. But we're not going to go for a domination victory just because there's so much people over here. We'd have to take over that city, that city, that city, that city, that city, that city, that city. And it's just, it's not very doable. It, well, it is doable. I can see myself doing it, but I don't want to see myself doing it because that would take so long and I'd probably just get like tired of it. But we're just going to go for a science victory, keep on teching and trying to get ahead. And we're really just going to work on our science. And as you guys can see, third in literacy right now. We're 2% behind everyone else, but everyone is pretty much really close together right now. So we really need to bust out ahead and focus on some science. So how we're going to do that is by... Let's see, let's open the tech tree. First off, getting a national college, which is one of the big ones. And then we're gonna kinda tech toward, we're actually gonna take that off that, and we're gonna tech, tech toward education and get that up really quick. We're gonna keep on building up our forces at the same time. Science will take precedence over the forces, but we're gonna keep on building up because it might become necessary to take out a couple of these cities, either just for their resources, because we want them, or to burn them to the ground so our cities can expand and grow. Right now, that's not that much of a problem. We've taken literally all of the territory from Cardiff, so I'm not feeling like that's too big of a threat, but later in the game, that might become a problem because these guys aren't really expanding at the moment, but they definitely could, and we have to get a road around to here, and that might be become a really big problem. Of course, we're also going to have barbarians, so I'm going to send one of these guys up here to deal with that. We've, we've, of course, got the barbarians on the New World, and the New World is where it's going to get pretty dicey. By dicey, I mean that it could go really bad or really well, and I guess some in between. We could literally be grinded out of existence on the New World by barbarians and their city-states, or not city-states, just their cities, I guess. Or we could just, you know, just kind of chill out and run them over. But I'm not entirely sure what's going to go down, so we're just going to play it safe and not really rely on the New World too much. I know that if I'm playing like Spain or something that has conquistadors and is good at selling overseas or like Indonesia, I'm going to focus on getting to that new world and founding cities on there and just owning the new world. And that's what I'm going to do if we ever play like that, like a game like that. But right now, it's just kind of like, eh. 
because we know that there's going to be a very large military resistance from that island. I say island, those two continents. And I'm not too anxious to push my forces and just spend all that time and all that money and all that effort on securing the new world when it's already probably going to be taken over by bar barbarians. So we're going to focus our efforts basically on just kind of, you know, staying peaceful, staying happy, stuff like that. I know maybe you guys want to see some more and I could definitely I could definitely do some do some more, but who knows. So, oh great. Okay, so we got a golden age right now. And this also will allow us to get a great general. And what do we want? And not a great general, just a great person. And the reason I said great general is because we might want to plop them down somewhere. Sometimes getting this great general can be really beneficial. If they would have gotten this national or natural wonder, we would have used a great general and taken it over. But really, right now, I don't see anything that really like begs to be taken. Of course, in a later version of this mod, the Fortress Borders, these things that are plopped down by great generals will have a two tiles around them. So that means if I founded that on the Coco, we'd get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it's just a lot of tiles. And it's really cool because it's basically a city. Of course, it's easier to take than a city, but yeah. So what we're probably going to do is I'm actually still between a great scientist and a great engineer because we might be able to get some really great wonders that would really help our science like that one but at the same time dropping a dropping a great scientist in one of these desert things would really also benefit us so none of the other ones i'm really interested in great admiral we don't really have a need for him because we've got one coastal city great engineer is the only one and great scientists are the only two that i'm really coming down to and it just depends on what can we get in the next few turns we can get chick chicken itself which would be really good we could get any of these but those are science i mean there's a religion or we could get a Ooh, oxford university would, would be really good but we might be a little bit behind in that and not get it so we're actually going to go with a great scientist and we're going to go plop this guy down over here and he will give us probably like around like six seven science eight science and that's going to be a real great bonus because we're only making 39 right now and if we check info addict we haven't done all game as you guys can see there's the scores and stuff we actually are kind of a middle middle of the road we used to be below but now we're kind of middle military we're also pretty middle science we are also pretty middle so that's not great and i really want to be the top one in that it's obviously for obviously obvious reasons we really want to be top top in science so we're going to really have to push for that so let's make a mine and see what we can do swordsman that's what you're doing. You're keeping going up there to take over that barbarian camp. I'm really sad that we haven't actually seen any barbarian things spawn on here. We haven't found any. And I think that's just a result of everything so close together. Like, look at this. We got, like, we're inter basically intertwined with the Celts. And we also have these guys down there. So it's... Oh, there's another... Ugh. There's an encampment down there, right, as I said that. But none of these will really have the chance to do that so we are unhappy now but we also are getting more gold so let's see if we can purchase a coliseum in our third city purchase oh, okay now that's 500 gold so let's see if we can go to up here and drop this guy yeah so that's plus eight science and i hopefully get some more gold from taking over this encampment uh we're definitely gonna have to just lock a guy on that because I want that science and that should be good so now we need some way to generate some happiness so let's go talk to the other leaders hello friend nothing there minus 20 gold per turn remember when Japan paid like out of its ass for a bunch of stuff from us and now they're minus 20 gold and damn Japan is going down so they're doing pretty well we're actually gonna go for that what do you want for that that's a good deal I just want to see their capital and see what it's like so Edinburgh is doing pretty well we're going to go into next, we're going to actually get working on a market. And let's talk to Brazil. They might have some extra stuff. Hey, Brazil, friend. Nope, they don't. But we do have two wines, so that means that we could trade someone for this. So Paris, Paris, trade. Nope, they got one copper. Good for us. So let's see if Germany has something. Come on. Come on, come on. Nope. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, so Egypt is one of our last chances, and then Carthage, of course. So trade. Nothing. God damn it. We don't even have, have anything. So no one has really extra resources. So trade. Yeah, they don't have anything extra. So let's see if we can actually win over a city state because that would give us a lot of, you know, whatever you call that stuff, happiness. We don't know of it. And, you know, 
We don't know of it in the Shoshone Kingdom. We don't know what that is. Uh, so let's check out our this stuff. So no, no one, li no one likes us. But let's see where Ur is. So basically, we're gonna put some money into Ur, and we're gonna give a gift of 250 gold, which will give us 20 influence. That's gonna be de decreasing by one every turn. But let's see if we can demand tribute of these guys. Boom! All right. So now we have made allies with Ur, and of course we pissed off these guys. And were they under the? Let's see if. They were under the protection of no one, so we didn't actually piss off any major civilization, so that's great. Of course, these guys are now angry at us, but honestly, we now have an ally that's actually going to go down next turn. So we're happy for a few turns. They give us three happiness, which is great, and we'll get more happiness when we take out this barbarian encampment. So there we go. That's at least a little bit of happiness taken, or of course, we're going to lose that this turn once again. I don't, I don't need that. I don't want horses. Horses are useless, basically. I don't need anything to do with horses. Except for maybe later. So we'll take that. We'll take that deal of six gold. We'll just keep on putting that into our economy. And now we're just friends, so we're, once again, we're unhappy. But that should change. Please don't be something really good in this. Or it should be like a freaking musket man. Oh, there's absolutely nothing. Okay, we got to take this out. <laughs> there's nothing in that. They're just chilling. I guess they got bombarded by the city or something. And they're just getting taken out. So please, none of the city states, please take that. I really want it. Magadashu, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm just wondering if some, something's going to come out of there. Okay, they didn't. All right. Fantastic. Nothing spawned. Voila. 25 gold and in more stuff with Ur. So we're at 108, and we're just going to give... So now there are, there are allies for allies for about 60 turns, so that's going to be great. They are ours, and we're actually going to go try to get some experience and take out this horseman. So I guess this horseman didn't really realize that we were right there and decided to go raiding, and they got screwed over. Of course, Magadishu is just getting owned. Ur is gotten a little bit owned, but they're doing a lot better. And let's see if we can just attack. I'm trying to protect my allies down here because if it gets free, I don't want that to happen. So they'll get bombarded, maybe killed, and then we can definitely clear them out if they stick around, which they probably won't. We're working on two... Ah, God. Okay, so everyone is pissed off at Egypt, and usually I would jump at the challenge of fighting Egypt just because... See, there's another one that wants me to fight Ramses two. And usually I would jump at the offer, but, oh god. I was about to say I would, but usually these guys have a ton of wonders in their capital. As as you can see, they got some wonder. That's some wonder. Ooh, they got the oracle, and they got that. Damn. Okay, so that's... Thebes is a great city, basically. Thebes is a very good city, and that's awesome. So that would actually be worth going to war against, but it's so far away that we probably can't hold it and we can't march troops over there. They'd be like outdated by the time they got there. So probably a no on that one, as I just said, but we could get a trifecta going. We could take Elephantine, which is a really good city because it's got spices and incense. Whew. That would be absolutely nice. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. But anyway, guys, things are going great. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about the question of the day. Now, if I didn't go over the question of the day, I apologize. I can't remember if I did, uh, but one second. Let me check something and get the question of the day ready if you get. Do, 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 do. I'll sing a very nice song for you guys. Ooh, we're happy again with them. That's great. And we're going to go over there and see if we can take out that. You, the girlfriend is acting up. And not in a good way. She's just, like, kind of sad. And I don't know why, but... And she won't tell me because, you know, she's a female and she likes to do that stuff. She just likes to play with my emotions and stuff like that. But, you know, that it is what it is. We're going to get a amphitheater. No, actually, we're going to get a... A... Fuck it. Let's get another composite bowman. I would build... Actually, no... I don't really want to build any units because I don't need them. So we're going to build an amphitheater, which is going to be great for us. And yes, she's sad for some reason. I don't know why. She's acting weird. <laughs> it's really worrying because, like, I don't know. But it will come out when it comes out. That's one of the things why I've been dating her for a pretty long time. I think almost a year, which is going to be crazy when that comes up. And just girls man they're weird and that leads me to the question of the day girls it can be anything to do with girls try to stay safe for work you know down in the comments down below i'm not gonna mind if you go 
not safe for work, but I don't really want to know any particulars of that. That's a little bit weird. Oh, shit, another encampment. But honestly, guys, girls are weird as hell, and they scare me. They really do. So let's... Oh, okay, so they took over that. Ooh, there's two gold over here, but let's found a little city over here. We're going to explore a little bit up here, and then we're going to found a city if there's something good. Of course, that is in the desert. God damn, it's not the best. But if there's something else like fishes in the sea or something, definitely going to found something down there because that'd be absolutely amazing. So let's go over here, cut that down. And we're almost finished completely terraforming the landscape of this city, in which case I can leave one of these guys behind and just deal with all of the expansions, and then we can send them over here. God, we are just friendly with everyone. And we can help out this thing because it's just getting pounded. It's like, guys, there's forest everywhere. There's spiders and snakes in the forest. Help. Okay, so why are we providing wine to Odin and to Buguga? I don't know, but we're also still in our golden age, which is great. Let's send them down here and do that. We're going to get another trade route pretty soon, and let's get this. So I think because it doesn't actually show me the yields on that screen. It doesn't give me – so there's no yields coming from this right now. But we're getting, we'll be getting one from one food from it pretty soon, which isn't the best, obviously, but it's pretty good. It's pretty goddamn nice. Oh my gosh, there's four gold up here. All right. We're found in a city up here. It's official, guys. The city is going to suck ass, and I'm going to regret settling it because it's probably going to piss off Japan. And Japan might actually uh, like end up taking it, but damn, guys. Damn. We're getting some nice stuff. I don't even know what deal I just accepted, but it was a good one if I accepted it. So we're now in the medieval era, which I think a lot of people actually got into last turn. But yeah, we're going to find a city right here. We're going to be able to get all of this gold. And we're also going to get those deers and fish, which is going to provide, provide us with at least a little bit of food. And yes, that is the plan. We're going to get work on a library right away, right over here, because we need that library. So we can build the National College. You over here with the eyes. We're going to change your production to, first off, production focus. And then to a settler. And then we're going to... Eh, there's nothing really that I can add, so we're just we'll just chill out. It hurt, hurt our economy a little bit, but yes. So, ooh, nice. We can start trading with the Assyrians, which will give us a little bit more science and a ton of gold. So that's great. Our economy is looking good. And <laughs> everyone just hates Egypt, guys. What the hell? Honestly, like, what the hell? Like, why are they, like, just hating on Egypt? I don't know what Egypt did. That's, so we can go do a cool thing. Love doing cool things. And we can go to global relations and just go attitude and Egypt. So they're neutral toward everyone, but actually, I guess they're neutral toward everyone. We're friendly with like everyone, as you guys can see, like a lot of green lines coming out of us. We're neutral with four things, happy with three. And as you guys can see, it's not complete. I think there's like one more over here that will come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, two more. Or no, one more. Yeah, one more. Economic. We are trading a shit ton. I think everyone is pretty much trading a shit ton. Oh, shit. They're exporting salt to everyone except for us. God damn it. And political. So Egypt is on its own. So I guess they just think Egypt is weak or something. And they're like, yo, we about to hop on this and make bank. So yeah, we'll, set, we'll settle a city like right there. We can get... We won't be able to get that fish, though. That's annoying. So if we settle it right there, we'll get one, two, three. We won't, we won't get that gold down there, but... I'm good with three gold. I'm very good with three gold, and this will be a little bit better of a city because we're not going to be in completely in the desert. But anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. So please just let me know down in the comments down below. Girls, man. They're weird. They're scary. I don't like them. Me no like. And oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Real quick, guys. Real quick. I think these guys might be like being taken over. As you guys can see, Berlin is already... I think they're being like pounded by barbarians, which is just freaky. Why is this doing? Why is this doing it? Okay, there we go. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's all I have time for today. So please just let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And oh my god, if these guys keep on pounding on this, we're gonna declare war on Brazil and take this over. So we're gonna we're gonna just kind of <laughs> this would be like the heist of the century. We'd probably lose the city pretty quickly, but it'd be so fucking funny. So we're gonna, definitely gonna do it. So we're gonna get working on a national epic because I don't really have anything else to work on. This guy start working on that, and just leave me leave a like down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think of girls, and subscribe to me. You know your favorite guy who just loves talking about girls and all that stuff. But we are gonna keep this guy as long as we did not do anything. We're gonna keep this guy down here, and I don't think it's actually gonna get that close. Yep, barbarians are hammering that city. Oh my god! So if they do not take this guy out, which yeah, they definitely are going to. So 
JK on that idea of us just quickly declaring war and winning that, but whatever. So, see you guys next time. We'll be founding our fourth city in a kind of a shit spa, but it's got a lot of gold, so, you know, gotta get that paycheck. Anyway, guys, 